This week we continue our month-long series, Autism, Life on the Spectrum. Tonight, what is next in autism research? Our Dan Bowens takes a look at the new treatments and therapies being studied and what some of the top doctors from around the world are revealing about the big advances being made. Carefully counting down to launch. Three, two, one. It's a significant sign of progress for Odin Connolly. Can you count to three? He has autism, six and a half years old, with what's described as emerging verbal skills. When a neurotypical person walks into a room and um, there are a bunch of people, they say hello, and people say hello back. Odin doesn't do that. Autism is a complex disorder that often has no clear cause. It's why Tim and Serena wanted to find out as much as they could. Right before he started uh, nursery school for autistic children, we had him do a whole gamut of evaluations. Research not available decades ago, like this study called a VB map, a detailed analysis of verbal behavior. We hadn't really realized or we hadn't completely come to terms with what autism was in his case, because it's different for every kid, and how it was affecting him specifically. I would say we've made huge advances in understanding how to help these kids. One exciting research development, says Dr. Jeremy Veenstra Vanderweel, a child psychiatrist with Columbia University Department of Psychiatry, new studies into oxytocin, a naturally occurring hormone in the body. Oxytocin changes social behavior, changes attention to a face, changes your desire to be near another person or interact with another person. And that may be powerful for some kids with autism spectrum disorder. But there is no one type of autism, so he says there is likely no one solution. When you talk about a cure, that's a tricky situation. I usually don't think in terms of a cure. Kids with autism keep developing. Maybe in the general population you've got a curve that looks like this, and the child with autism, maybe their curve looks like this. If we could tilt that a little bit, it gives the child opportunities they wouldn't otherwise have. Press this one, Odie. Odin's parents say detailed studies like this have helped guide therapy, making an immediate impact. Failure to generalize. He's now, that's been cut in half. Um, impaired conditional discrimination. Doesn't have that issue anymore. Um, weak motivation, the, you know, cut in half. Um, and that's got to be, you know, to have this information. These are barriers, yeah. That's got to be encouraging. I mean, just absolutely. Some of the improvements. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, especially over six months. Small steps on the long road ahead. Dan Bowens, Fox 5 News.